Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new series called Pro Spots, basically where I show you guys some of the best lines of sights, jump spots, nade spots, stuff like that for maps in Black Ops 3. So today we're going to be covering the map Fringe, and I start things off from this bridge spawn, go straight until you find this pickup truck, hop in sight, and use these hay bales to give you cover in case you're getting spawn trapped. You can take out the people that try to rush your spawn from the middle of the map, or if anyone tries to come from the right side of the map again, I really do like this spot because if my team is getting spawn trapped, it's very difficult for the enemy team to shoot me in here, and I I have these hay bales to give me cover. For the next spot, you want to run straight into the barn, go up to the stairs, and then hop on this little stack of hay bales right here. And I really like this line of sight because if a sniper or anyone is camping inside the house across the spawn, you have a nice line of sight through the window, and this blue painted wood here gives you really good cover. Uh, so use this spot in case anyone is sitting inside that building in the opposite spawn. Moving on, we're still at this bridge spawn here. You want to go right and go down this little dark alley until you come across this corner. I've killed so many people just by sitting in this corner here. It's a really good spot especially for safeguard and no one really thinks to check that corner so again it's a really good spot in case you get into trouble in this middle area here and for another spot it's in the same alley but you're gonna want to hop on this yellow canister here and you have a really good line of sight on the players that might rush you from the repairs building here you can watch the window and the door and if you get caught you can uh, go to the corner where I just showed you guys uh, giving you guys some good cover and again no one really thinks to check that corner so uh, I really do like those two spots on this side of the map so next up I have a really nice line of sight that is so helpful for search and destroy so uh, first off, make sure you plant at the A-bomb and try to plant as far away as possible. And then once you've done that, rotate over to this small yard of wood here. Jump up on this fence and inch your way until your body is touching this building. And you have a really good line of sight on the place where you planted the bomb. I guarantee no one is going to check for you up there. Uh, but if someone is defusing the bomb and they happen to see you, this utility pole does give you some cover. But uh, it's definitely not the best, so make sure you get the drop on them. But again, that's a really good spot when you're playing S and D. But make sure you plant the A-bomb as far away as possible so you can get a good view of it when someone defuses. Uses. And for the next spot, it's right next to the one I just showed you guys. But you're going to want to hop on the opposite side of the fences, go into crouch mode, and inch your way until you have a good enough cover from these spikes here. And as you can see, I can pick off anyone that runs into their spawn uh, from the middle of the map or inside the building here. And a really cool thing about this spot is the bullets cannot penetrate these spikes here, making it very hard for the enemy team to shoot you down. So when you have to reload, I recommend going into crouch mode. But one thing to be careful of is the flank behind you. So either have a teammate watch this corner or something like that. Next up, we have this truck right in front of the fences you can either do one of two things stand up and pick people off this way or you can make it very difficult for the enemy team to shoot you by going into prone and aim through these little slits through the truck here and as you can see this spot makes it very hard for the enemy team to kill you this whole middle of the map is a high traffic area so you're gonna get a good amount of kills if you just use this spot here now moving over to the opposite spawn sometimes I'll sit back here and on this side there's a lot of little head glitches you can use so I like to move to each one a couple times in a match just to confuse the enemy team now if anyone comes through this metal shack I like to get on top of this fence here and pick off some of the people this way uh, that might rush in this direction so keep in mind if you plan on sitting back and playing a more passive role you can use these couple of spots and uh, get people this way you're not gonna get a lot of kills because I don't really think a lot of people rush this way but uh, you know if you're trying to get a high KD and you're playing a more defensive role for your team keep those spots in mind and that's pretty much it guys there's not really a lot of spots for this side of the map so be mindful of that just be careful for all the little head glitches on this map because there are a ton guys but yeah guys I hope you all did enjoy my first episode and pro spots if you did don't forget to drop a like and also comment down below what do y'all think of fringe and also if you have a map you'd like me to cover in the next episode tell me that down in the comments as well thank you for watching mine is verts have a good rest of the day till next time i'll catch y'all later